Hello again, welcome to March West Junction Town D. And today I've been to a toy fair over in Warsaw Wood, which is just as you come out of Warsaw going towards Cannock in the West Midlands. And uh, it's quite a good toy fair. It's about two pounds to get in, 170 for uh, OAPs. So it's not an expensive uh, show and it's a fair size. It's inside of uh, two basketball courts. So it's got a fair size to it. Uh, and I'm just going to show you some of the bargains that I've picked up for doing the scenery and some accessories. So uh, let's go over to the workbench and uh, take a look. Okay, we're over at the workbench. And uh, as you can see, there's quite an assortment of uh, items. So uh, I'll just go through them one at a time and uh, just show you what sort of bargains you can get when you go to these uh, toy fairs. So uh, I'll start off with uh, this woodland scenic rock. So I'll just move all this out of the way. Okay, so uh, this was the first bargain and it's uh, rock faces from Woodland Scenics and it's a kit that uh, you get for uh, creating your own uh, rock formations with plaster. Now in the kit you get colours and stuff like that. Well, all that's missing, that's why it's only a pound. But if I open it, the important thing that you get, as well as the instructions, uh, you get a sponge and uh, two rock moulds. Now, 50p each, I think these are a bargain because they're quite expensive. So that was my first bargain. Uh, at the show, uh, Toy Fair, and uh, I think it's really good. Now, the guy that was selling these, he said, do you want some plaster to go with it? And uh, I went to, okay, let's have a look what you've got. And he got this uh, big bag of plaster, marked up as four quid. And he says, uh, if you want it, you can have it for two quid. So uh, I bought that off him for two pounds so I can start doing some rock faces. Uh, on the uh, 009 layout so uh, I was really pleased with that okay the, the next items that I bought from uh, the same guy at the show really uh, was some of this uh, plaster bandage rock and roll bandage by gauge master and it shows two pound 40 two pounds and uh, like i say that guy was uh, really generous and he said i could have that for a quid also what i got for a quid i think was a second hand trap rubber these always come in handy especially when i'm at the club because i guarantee when we're there they always someone always shouts out has anyone got a trap rubber on them so this will go in my mobile toolbox that I take to the uh, club also on the same the same guy on his store he got these for a mixed lot for a, a quid so it's just open that and have a look what's inside because I haven't even looked at this yet so we've got a bag of fine turf uh, which is uh, comes in handy and a lot of this I'll be needing for a Trequin Valley, my uh, 009 project. Harvest Gold Field Grass. Now this stuff uh, is opened, but this stuff is good for uh, making reeds uh, by riverbanks and stuff like that. Well, I'm thinking of doing a small stream on my 009 layout. So uh, these will come, come in handy. Look at that, Ian Allen Bookshop. That brings back memories. This is some of the uh, uh, like yellow flower foliage. So uh, that was in this pack for a quid. And then finally, some Woodland Scenics uh, tall grass. And that's similar to that other pack, really. Similar sort of stuff. And again, that would be good for reeds and stuff like that. Uh, that are in the uh, riverbed. So that'll be interesting to uh, use that. And I will uh, do a video when I get on to doing that sort of thing. 
So that's something in the future to look forward to. Okay, so some final items I picked up. I managed to get some rail joiners. And uh, at the moment, as I've mentioned before, I'm doing a 009. And the trouble with Pico track, when you're developing the track layout, if you keep taking the track apart, put it back together, take it apart, you lose these. So I've managed to pick these up at the Toy Fair as well, at a good price. And also I managed to pick up some wheel sets. These are all Hornby. These were two quid for all these. And uh, I've got some coach wheels there. I think the 14 point something coach wheels. I've got two of them. And then there's some three disc wheels, which are on the standard Hornby wagons normally. And then there's uh, four sets of uh, the spoke wheels. So uh, they were a couple of quid at the show. And one final bargain, which is, I think it's a brilliant bargain. Uh, was these now these are from my local model shop and they're on the counter and you just help yourself to how many you want i've got a few for taking to the club at the Wally model railway club but what they are you fold them all up together uh, well sorry fold one of them up uh bending the tabs and all that they're already pre-scored and what you end up with is uh these for storing your paintbrushes in and uh, if you're over in the West Midlands, Mike's models of King's Standing uh, is where to get them from. And they're free of charge. They're just on his, uh, like say, on the counter and you just help yourself to what you need. Uh, if you want to know the address for Mike's models, I've got the uh, web address there, which I'll zoom in. It's mike's dot, uh, slash models dot co dot uk. If you go on to there, you'll, you'll give you the address and the phone number. So if you're in the West Midlands, uh, Great Bar King Standing area, it's worth checking them out. And they are really good. As you can see, I've organised all my paintbrushes. Uh, so now I ain't got them in a mug and I'm searching around to try and find the paintbrush I want. So uh, that's it then. That brings me to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if Alan from Dragon, Dragon Junction's watching, Dragon Junction Mark 2, I am working on your lav, Lordell's lav. It's sprayed up in its uh, bottom coat. I've still got to do some of the fine detail on it, paint the hinges up and that. So that is uh, in progress at the moment, work in progress. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for stopping by. If you have, don't forget to hit the like button and share if uh, you want to share with your friends. And uh, if you're new to the channel, then please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. You'll be notified if I'm doing any new work uh, on the layout. Now, next weekend is the Worley National Model Railway Show. I will be there all every day. I'm going on the Friday to help set up. And I'm hoping to do a video on the setup uh, behind the scenes on the Friday. And then over the weekend, I'm hoping to do little videos, bits of videos, tech footage of uh, the layouts there, if I get time. So, uh, if you, and please come along, say hello. I'll be on the Wally stand. And there's uh, going to be Andy Hudson from Pico Stroke, the Wally Club, his diorama layout. And they'll be cradled to the grave. And uh, I'll be bobbing between the two of them so if you see me i'll have a white t-shirt on with my logo on uh please feel free to come over to say hello and we can have a chat so uh hopefully i'll see you at the show if you're coming along so thank you for stopping by and uh i'll see you at the next video bye for now